And we're back. Um, I'm, again, I'm here with Scott at scottsteels.com. Hello. I'm uh, Jay from jaysgolf.com mm -hmm. and HP Golfer 101. But we're going to show you how to set the pogo plug up. Again, provided in the box is the Ethernet cable and the power cable. Um, I'll let Scott plug these in for mm -hmm. you. Well, uh, the first step in setting up the pogo plug is to connect your peripherals such as uh, the cables and power cable here. So let's take a look at these. Ethernet cable will go in there and then you'll put that into your switch, hub, router, whatever you might have on the other end there. And then your power cable, which is actually pretty long for a power cable here. Just goes right into the back, slide it right on through like that. And then we'll need a hard drive because the Google plug does not come with a hard drive. So today we've got a Western Digital Elements hard drive. And the key to finding the right hard drive, we felt, was to find something that we could comfortably rest the pogo plug on top of while we were using it. It wouldn't take up a whole lot of desk space. And based on our calculations, the pogo plug would fit perfectly on top of the Western Digital Series hard drives and it looks like it does. So but the left is actually identical almost. And the beauty of the Element series of Western Digital hard drives is uh, again, you can connect up the four hard drives to the Pogo plug. These are stackable. Uh, you don't have to worry about heat and all that kind of stuff. They take care of that. So as you stack this up on your desk, if you needed to, you could have it that high with three to, f to up to four element hard drives underneath of the unit itself. The Pogo plug makes it easy because it does manage those discs for you. So you don't have to go in and manage volumes of discs and add the discs manually once you plug that USB in. It's supposed to at least. Just add that to your storage. Okay. So, well then that works. Is that yeah. hot swappable? Uh, apparently that you could take one out, but now you're gonna lose the files that are on that though. So that's important to note. Right, it's just because, increasing expansion of space. So if you for this front this front one that might be easy access, you might be tempted to put in a little passport, like Western Digital Passport. Or even, shoot, now you can get a 64 gig uh, thumb drive for 40 or 50 bucks. Right. Um, you do not want to use that with this unit. This unit is meant to sit and stay. This is not meant to go anywhere. But the beauty right. of it is you can access it from wherever you are with your iPad, your iMac, your MacBook Air, whatever you got, wherever you are, you go to pogoplug.com and you can access your files via that. Right. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use your flash drive and you might you might need to in a situation where you have something on it that you need to run out the door uh, to, to access from someplace else. So you might throw your flash drive in there just to access it on a one-time basis. And it'll be the volumes on that drive will be available from your account. So by unplugging a volume and taking it with you then yeah no longer you no longer be able to access it on pogoplug.com. Uh, the last piece of the puzzle would be the USB cord from the back of the hard drive, right here. Plug that on in right here, and then take that and plug it in. And again, if you take all the twisties off and whatnot, everything threads through here. So it will stay pretty uh, neat and tidy for you, other than, of course, the uh, one USB outlet that's on the uh, front part. So everything wraps through there, so if it's on your desk facing the other way, all that will go behind the desk and, you know, you won't see any of those cords. So it's really a cool unit just in, this, in, the, in, in, the, in its ease of use and the fact that you store everything um, at home. But anything over 20 megabytes per second would be tremendous internally uh, for a configuration like this. And now externally, it's only as fast as your bandwidth is upload. Now, quick question before we end this, because I think we've gone through about all we can go through with this. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and it's got a lands room for you. My, my only question is, is this completely uh, Ethernet based or is this something that you can access via 3G? If you go to pogoplug.com on 
your 3G enabled iPad or uh, your iPhone or an Android phone will you be able to access your, say you want to watch an episode of whatever you just downloaded. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you going to be able to do that via 3G? Or I wouldn't no? see why not. I mean, it's a point to point connection to be no different than maybe a connection to a WhatsApp server. Okay. Well, so, we'll yeah. have to test that. And we will. Well, thanks for watching the, uh, well, I guess this will be one of the first episodes on Scott Steele's YouTube. Um, Actually, yeah, this will be, I think, well, we'll make this our first unboxing. Yes, our first unboxing and review. Um, so. I hope you enjoyed and uh, give us a thumbs up because you like us.